Hey guys, DMike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We're gonna get back on track and head to the Distant Tundra today. So, no surprises, no teasers, no, you know, tricks. Straight ahead. We're gonna find the captain. Just wanna go ahead and say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. I noticed that the videos have been upticking in views and things have been going really well. So if you haven't subscribed, like the video and follow it along, please do so as Alf poorly pilots the Drake. I couldn't have seen that coming. And Brittany gets explosively ejected. But yeah, thanks for uh, subscribing, watching, liking, all that stuff, everybody. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. But now Brittany is once again stranded. So what are we going to do? I guess... We'll have to find a way out. Well, what's go- oh! It appears as though we've made a shocking discovery. I guess this is technically our second introduction to Yellow Pikmin, but uh, we are learning about their elemental properties here and what they're capable of. Looks like they are trying to complete a circuit. But first, great. So if you couldn't have already figured that out for yourself, everybody, yellow Pikmin can conduct electricity. Just like we can. Just kidding, don't do that. So if you have a circuit as such here, and you connect the dots for yourself in this very difficult puzzle, you'll be able to complete the circuit Bring some light to your life. Just like this Let's Play does. So, we have ourselves a old, new, I mean, new to Brittany, old to us, type of Pikmin. So, this is very exciting. In this area, you'll only be able to find yellow Pikmin, as the game intends. We've also got ourselves another hint that yellow Pikmin can be thrown very high in the air. But we don't quite have enough for that pellet because I misinterpreted how many I would need because I am blind sometimes. So thankfully, if you light up the area, you'll be able to figure it out just like Brittany. So yes, we're going to farm ourselves some Pikmin. This part of the game is interesting because this cave is, you'll soon see, time does not pass. There is a similar mechanic for caves in the second Pikmin, subterranean areas, that upon traveling into that cave, time would not pass. So you don't waste days, but you can take hot springs, Ride those like a roller coaster. Take a little jaunt. We've got another five pellet posy here. I'm gonna knock it down. It would be nice if we had something that could break this structure, but it doesn't appear that we do right now, unfortunately. So instead, we're just gonna harvest as many yellows as we can. This puzzle that they want you to do isn't particularly intimidating, I wouldn't say. But you're going to want to make sure you got at least 20. We've got 25 currently in our stead, which is nice. I'll have Brittany pluck those noobs. Those heckin' noobs. And we'll charge this big old ball. When you get enough pump pet pumpkins. When you get, it's almost Halloween. When you get enough Pikmin behind it, they'll have enough inertia to push that ball and get your momentum flowing. So we have found a way out. We have escaped. Nice little pan around the distant tundra. But we're still all alone. Sure would be nice if we could make it over there. Oh, it's Alf. So we didn't get dropped off too far. I say dropped off as Bernie was ejected from the Drake. Like it was just a casual thing. Yeah, just casually explode out of this rocket ship. So we'll try to contact Alf. 
using our co-pad, technology has saved our lives. The future is now, everybody. Wow, good eyes, Alf. He is an engineer. And uh, soon he'll be promoted to the rank of Captain Obvious. So now we have a little bit of a shift where the game wants you to start prioritizing using both of your captains. So that's what we're going to do. We have to combine our forces to build this heckin' bridge. Um, let's show some respect, Brittany, okay? So we do have these little trampoline doodads. We have some crazy enemies here that I'm not super fond of, but we're looking for pieces of the puzzle. We want to be able to complete this bridge to get back to Alf. So let's switch over to Alf real quick and survey our surroundings and see what we've got going on. Thank you for that game. It's telling us about pellets being something that we can over time replenish. That's very nice. And telling us about the shock resistance of yellow pigment. Very good. So this bridge that we're going to be completing is huge. It will require pieces of the red variety and the blue variety. So we're going to have to mosey around. These guys are giant jerks and you can you can attack their butts as always. You have to be careful though, because they have these stupid little sucker tongues that will try to eat your pigment. And I don't like that. So I will attack their butts with Alf. Alf will punch their butts, take a little bit of damage. It's okay. So it appears as though we need some rock pigment and potentially some red pigment as well. There was a glass area over there. We're going to use our red pigment to fight and we're going to use our rock pigment to break down the glass. We're not going to do a full team right now because we don't really need it. So we're just going to get a few pigment. And we're going to go and show that thing what for as we attack its butt. But of course. And there's an enemy that I didn't even see that was launching Michael Bublé's at my Pikmin. So this is another way that your Pikmin can get wet and potentially drown. But if you run away, that's not a big deal. So we're going to try to be careful this guy. He's got his stupid long anteater tongue. We're going to wait, wait for him to come out of the ground and show us his, his buns. Show us those buns, hun. There they are. There they are. Ooh, yeah, we like that. Yeah. Get out of my business. And there is a little dirt path here that you can uncover with your Pikmin's. We'll burrow through that for you. Let's have everybody clear it out. This is teamwork. Team teamwork is what we're all about. All right. So if everybody could come back. If everybody... Where is... Okay. I said everybody. We're missing some. Bernie has the others, so... We're not going to worry about that, but we need to take down this glassy area. And as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of shenanigans, a lot of fire shenanigans going on over here. There is some not ex not good for the rocks. We're not going to rock and roll over there. Instead, we're going to get a bunch of red boys and we're going to show those Nasty buggers in here. What for? Yeah, you bet we will. This is a pellet, or not a pellet, it's a flower, I can't talk, that when you throw P Pikmin into them, said Pokemon, I don't know where I am or what I'm saying. So this is a candy pot bud. If you throw your Pikmins into it, over time, they will turn into red ones. So we've got these red slug guys that we're going to want to attack with our reds. This is just another situation where... You're going to want to be cognizant of the type of Pikmin that you're going to need. Hopefully the Pikmin are smart. I'm going to follow them for a moment and see if they'll take it through the little pathway, if they're going to be ding-dongs and go all the way around. we got to be careful here, too, because we've got these jerks that are trying to throw water at us. 
so you're going to want to follow your Pikmin around. Make sure you can carry this stuff quick. This is why it's very good to prioritize having your Pikmin flowered as soon as you can. Carrying your your treats and stuff like that by flower Pikmin, especially the red ones, because they're very fast, will get you out of predicaments. But we're not going to want to have all of these doodads swallowed up by our reds, because we have our reds and they're pretty bountiful right now. So we'll actually save these slugs, I guess, for the rocks. We want to propagate some more rocks, which sounds very strange to say because, you know, rocks are rocks, but you know, we're just, we're just doing the work. So now we've got enough Pikmin to carry all of these pieces of the puzzle. There's actually some fruit up here that we'll come back for. Very nice. And there's a little, little area right there that can only be accessed by the rocks. So we're going to go grab those guys. We're going to have some of them be the ones to smash through that. This is what this game's all about. You just got to kind of switch it up. You're going to whistle back your Pikmin. I don't really need you. Don't really need them to do that anymore. So good on you. You guys can carry this stuff. Get yourself some more buddies. We've got some reds hanging around and it looks like there's something up here. I don't. I'm assuming the game is going to want us to use our yellows to reach those high arcing areas. That's kind of the intent. We've got ourselves a... <laughs> it appears as though a little spout, which we're going to be very quickly in dispatching. Not the reds. Oh boy, this could be bad. Let's get out of here. Ah, run! This is... Whew. That was close. That was heckin' close, everybody. So we got candy pop buds if you need any more of those. There's actually a, a red or a big pellet here, which is kind of nice. Oh, and of course it turns red at the last heck and second. No, no. This is not going according to the plan. Stick to the plan. <laughs> it appears as though my Pikmin, because the pellet is stuck on the side there, that I can't get them up. So I'm, no, stop it. Do not. I don't need you locking on. There we go. That's using our noodle. Here at D Mike Industries, sometimes we are a little low on pasta, so using our noodle is tough. But don't worry, we'll always make more. So we'll go up there and we will dispatch that fiery blowhog from being a fiery blow jerk. That's right, I said it. I'm not afraid to tell the truth here. Okay. So that's a pretty good amount of progress here. We're so close to being able to build this bridge, but we're not quite there yet. This is actually one of the longer, kind of more arduous puzzles here. We can use our rocks to carry this corpse. Very good. Get more of those. We are always in need. And then we, as you saw, had more of the red enemies. So we're going to gonna go ahead and dispatch all of these guys we're gonna keep the reds with us and we're gonna take some more I know that I'm kind of bouncing back and forth a little bit but you got to do what you got to do actually I don't want okay so we have too many Pikmin on the field I need to put some of these rocks back we're gonna be bouncing back and forth like a trampoline get some more reds out to do battle that looks pretty heckin good we've still got some rocks that are in the ground, so we're not going to worry about those guys right this second. But we've got a pretty good assortment of reds and rocks. We're going to want to focus, though, on the reds here because the rocks will be in very rough shape if they wind up trying to deal with the fiery blowhogs. So we're going to hit that area right here. I'm going to take this fiery blowhog out here in a moment. Easy peasy. Done. We do have some new enemies up here, actually. These guys are electric based, so you'll be in some pretty rough shape if you try to take them out with anything but the, the yellows. So, you know, you got to follow follow the rules of the colors. I'm not entirely sure why it's taking them so long to unearth this. It looks like a pellet, which we're not going to use. That's 
Probably gonna save for those yellas. Them yellow bellies. We'll have them do that. So we're doing great, guys. We are doing great. Okay. Well, you guys are taking forever, and I don't have time for that. So instead, we're gonna grab some more pellets. Not pellets, rock pieces. I can't talk. People are gonna think that this this Let's Play could honestly be called Let's Play Pikmin 3 Deluxe while having a stroke. So, don't worry. We're in good health, I think. We're at midday here. We're making some pretty good progress. I don't understand... Ugh, well, we don't really need that Fire Blow Hog. We've got a pretty good amount of reds, so... What I'm most interested in is building this bridge. Because we're... I think that if... I'm not mistaken, we're very close to building it. Yeah. Did we miss some pieces? Just a moment here. What the H is going on? I thought we collected all of those. Maybe I must have missed something. We do have... Some more Pikmin here that can get these grapes. Oh, sorry, these mystery fruits. I think, oh wait, maybe we can't get them. Okay, so those are not intended for, for reds to be acquired. For reds to acquire them, I, you knew what I meant, come on. Anyway, anyway, anywho. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that the game doesn't really want you to do yet. It's more intended to, you're supposed to progress, progress as you do things in the correct order. Which is, you know, pretty good gameplay. Did I? Oh, I missed one piece. Really? Come on. So we got a turd burglar up here on this hill. Not a fan of that guy. And we also have a very dangerous enemy, like I was saying before, down here. So I'm gonna try to risk it for the biscuit here and see if we can get this done before it kills us. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Run. Run, guys. Yikes. Okay. So that guy is uh, super dangerous. And uh, I'm gonna try to distract him. I'm gonna distract him. With Alf sexy behind, oh boy. I'm trying to bring sexy back and this guy is not having it. Come at me, bro. You can do this. I mean, this doesn't really like do a ton of actual damage. Oh boy, run Pikmin. No, run my Pikmin. Come with me, please. It might actually be worthwhile to try to kill him in a moment, but not with these guys. All right, so that actually worked. I was not expecting that to work. That's a bearded amp rat. Okay, and it, once again, loves to be taken from behind. It's very good. So we're learning. The bridge should be done or close to done. I'm not entirely sure what I missed, but that's fine. That connection will make things a little bit easier, which is very nice. So we're a little bit past half day and we've made some decent progress today with getting this bridge almost done. We gotta collect a few more pieces of it and then we gotta help Brittany get across on the other side. So I'm thinking we're gonna pluck these Pikmin right quick. I was trying to say two words at the same time. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before. That's pretty fun. Oop, excuse me, sir. Okay, we're gonna switch over to Brittany real quick to make sure that we've got what we're trying to do here. It looks like we can, s okay, well, I'm gonna kill this guy real quick because I hate these things. These things are probably one of my least favorites. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking and baking. Oof, that was rude. So we're gonna, we're gonna go after these guys. I forget what these guys are called. I was gonna call the episode, but I really hate these things. They're not inherently dangerous in terms of like, they can't kill your Pikmin, but they can rebury them in the ground. As you can see here, I have to pluck them now, which is kind of annoying. I have no idea why they thought that that was fun, but. Oh, I was wiggling both sticks. That's probably why everything looked all wonky. I apologize for the, for the view going all willy nilly. It looks like I can throw the Pikmin to Alf, which will be nice. We'll help him out. We'll get him over there to 
use those yellow Pikmin. I don't know if I actually want to use any of my other Pikmin. So I'm going to put these guys back. But we are missing some. We might just finish out the day here. We're missing a few Pikmins. So we're going to go get them. I thought that I would have had them all come along with me, but apparently not. All these rock Pikmin I left over here, that would have been pretty disastrous, huh? Oh, okay, great. We'll just waddle along. I think it's one of my favorite things about rock Pikmin is I think that they're very cute and how they just kind of waddle around. Actually, no, we will not. I think that that signal was that the gate has been torn down, which is wonderful. And we've got the remainder of the Pikmin are with Brittany. So that's nice. Might actually just be able to finish this day here. And call it a day. I was being a little bit too... I was underestimating a little bit. So we've got the yellow Pikmin here. Could use some... They're good at digging, so... Lesson learned, everybody. Use your yellows for digging. But we are going to need some, uh... We're going to need to get the heck out of here. Whoa! That was close. So those guys are shooty, rocky jerk faces. And if they hit your Pikmin, it will kill your Pikmin. So you don't want that. You have to be careful here. We're going to want to have a few more yellows here. To get some of these pieces. They're going to take it back to their onion. I'm going to try to... Meet up with Alf here in a moment. Because we need to have some... Some rock Pikmin magic to help us out. It looks like our pieces are stuck behind this. But we got two of these guys in the business. So we're going to want to have Alf give us some rocks, give us some reds. We're going to be able to make more progress. I mean, we're kind of stuck right now until that happens. So yellows are good. They're going to go hang out next to the onion. But we're going to want to have Alf, as I put them away like a dummy... Get us some rocks and reds. Let's do 30 of each. Actually, we don't need as many rocks. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do 45, 15. Rocks are useful, but... The reds are just too good. The reds are the ones that you're going to want to want. They're the ones that, for the most part, will be doing your damage. Your rocks are useful, too, because they break up the structures that are in the way. But... You know... Actually, this is kind of pointless, I suppose, because the day is ending. But hey, maybe we'll tear down a rock structure real quick. And I wish that there was a way you could throw everything over there without having to do it one at a time. That's kind of annoying, right? But I saw there was the... Where is it? There's this structure in the way that's causing us some difficulties. We'll break that. That's good. Oh. Where did you go? Okay, excuse you. Oh, well. I guess we're just going to take all of our Pikmin over here and cause chaos. Oh boy, this is this is bad. This is bad. Oh boy. It's a joustamite. We're, we're only going to run into some trouble here. I have a feeling our Pikmin might wind up getting chomped. Break this down at least. I don't need our Pikmin getting into any kinds of jousts with a joust might without my approval I'm the one who says so but we will attack the butt we will attack its butt all right we're doing all kinds of shenanigans right before the day's gonna end like this is gonna make a difference hopefully we're not getting our Pikmin killed here actually, I actually don't even know where half of them are I think they're taking stuff back to the Oh, come back, come back, sirs, sirs. No, no, sir. Ugh. You're not listening to me. Oh, boy. All right, you guys can worry about those later. We'll come back for those. I promise. Hopefully we got a bunch of the yellows hanging out in that cave. The cave of, cave of wonder here. I think we do. And they should be safe in here. Hopefully. 
Looks look like a pretty formidable group of yellows. And then we got the bunch here. That looks pretty good. We might have lost one or two. That's fine. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we did. If you do lose any Pikmin at the end of the day, they'll show their poor sorry souls getting devoured, which is kind of depressing, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I could have probably done a better... Yeah, I think one of our Pikmin's got eaten. We'll see. I could have done a better job of pacing that day, but you know, it is what it is. I kind of forgot. I got a little excited. Sometimes you just got to stick to the plan. Don't get distracted. Collect yourself another Sunseed Berry. We love that. Some juicy Strawberry Lime. Sounds pretty good, actually. Strawberry Lime Juice. Another refreshing summer drink, perhaps? So we're going to prioritize collecting fruit instead of helping our friend. Uh, suck it, Brittany. Sorry. But we should be okay. We've got a decent amount of sustenance left. So day five, not bad. Okay, so I guess I didn't lose any Pikmin. I thought that I did, but I don't know. So we'll go ahead and quickly read the data entry for today from Alf, and then we will... Uh, call it a ribbity wrap. We followed the captain's signal into a desolate tundra. Due to poor visibility, I mishandled the ship and... Well, I lost control and Brittany was thrown overboard. Again. Searching for her in blizzard-like conditions won't be easy, but I was able to verify that she's safe. Signed, Alf. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, not too bad. And, uh, yeah. With the day saved, that's a wrap. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.